हेलो किड्स वेलकम बैक टू वेदू हो रहा दिस इज सोनल एंड नाउ विल बी स्टार्टिंग आर फाउंडेशन क्लासेस फॉर एंड दिस विल बी हेल्पफुल टू यू फॉर योर जे ई नीट ओलम्पियाड्स एन टी एस सी एवरी थिंग ओके सो वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द चैप्टर रियल नंबर्स ओके एंड यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड ऑल द एग्जाम्पल्स एंड एक्सरसाइजेज रिलेटेड टू दैट चैप्टर फ्रॉम आर डी शर्मा सो यू आर वेरी वेल एक्वेंटेड विथ वॉट्स द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स एंड द वे टू डील विद इट now here what we will do is we will try to give you an approach when you notice a question then to solve it in the least time possible okay because in competitive exams what happens is you get the questions you have four options if there is a slightly you have any problem in any topic then that option will also be there and you will get easily confused okay and like you are finding the hcf of a number okay so if you have the options which are already the factors okay then how you will do it real fast so that you save your time for the other questions okay that will learn right now okay so in the starting i'll give you a quick recap of what is the real numbers okay real numbers they are the rational and non rational numbers okay right rational is which can be expressed in the form of p by q okay now rational numbers can be of two types they can have terminating decimal expansion or non terminating right so if they are terminating then they have the denominator will be in the form of 2 to the power n into 5 to the power m okay and if they are non terminating then the denominator will contain factor other than 2 and 5 okay now euclid's division lemma it is a is equal to b q plus r where a and b are integers and q and r are such that q is the quotient r is the remainder b is the divisor and a is the dividend okay now fundamental theorem of arithmetic it states that every number can be expressed in the form of its prime factors and that expression is unique but the order in which it occurs is not unique then hcf and lcm hcf is the highest common factor right that can divide the two numbers and the lcm is the lowest common multiple the two numbers they will have the same multiple that lowest number lowest multiple is lowest common multiple now irrational numbers irrational numbers they cannot be expressed in the form of p by q or a by b and their decimal expansions are non terminating and non recurring okay here in rational numbers they can be non terminating but they will be recurring that means the digits will be repeating themselves but here it will be non recurring and non terminating okay now coming to the first question here we have minus 1 to the power n plus minus 1 to the power 4 n is equal to 0 then n is okay what is the nature of n okay so first of all we should know that minus 1 if it has power 1 then this is equal to minus 1 if it is power 2 then it is minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 right then again minus 3 sorry one, minus 1 to the power 3 is 1 into minus 1 again it's minus 1 again minus 1 to the power 4 minus 1 into minus 1 is again 1 so from this what we conclude is whenever minus 1 has an even power right even 2 and 4 then it is 1 and whenever it has an odd power then it is minus 1 so here the question states that it is 0 that means our one bit will be minus 1 and the other will be plus 1 in this bit this is minus 1 to the power 4n which is equal to minus 1 square 2n because 4 is equal to 2 into 
that means it is an even number that means this will always be 1 so it is necessary that this should be minus 1 and for this to be minus 1 n should be odd right so here n is an odd natural number okay so this is the way when a question comes to you you know what is the power what is exponents everything right but when you get this type of question in exams you might get confused that what will be the nature so you have to remember the concept minus 1 when it has even power then it is 1 and when it has odd power then it is minus 1 for it to be 0 this has to this will always be plus 1 because the power is even right now this has to be minus 1 for these two to cancel out right and it will be minus 1 only when its power is odd so you will take any odd natural number okay now coming to the next question find the value of x and state which of the given statement are required for it okay now the LCM of x and 18 is 36 the question is this one okay and the HCF of x and 18 is 2 so we already know that HCF okay let me change the color okay it will be easier okay HCF into LCM okay is equal to product of the two numbers okay product of numbers okay so here it is saying that LCM of x in n18 is 36 so this is 36 sorry LCM no sorry HCF of x and 18 is 2 so 2 into 36 is equal to the two numbers are x and 18 x into 18 right now here if you solve this then 18 36 2 so x is equal to 4 so you have seen it was you it was said that find the value of x we have found out it is 4 now it is saying state which of the given statement are required for it now to get this answer we used both these statements we could not find x with only this or only this right so our answer is 4 and we required both the statements so this is 4 and the statement 1 and 2 both are required okay now coming to the next question if n is any natural number then 9 to the power n minus 5 to the power n ends with so we all know that 9 whenever it will be having any power like it is having the power 1 then it will have the units place will always be 1 then if it is 2 then this will be 81 unit place is 1 right if it is 3 then 81 into 9 729 right 9 to the power 4 then it will be something but here 9 into 9 will be 81 so the unit place will be 1 so we know that the unit place will be either 1 either 9 or 1 for 9 and for 5 it will always be 5 right 5 25 125 625 the unit place is always 5 okay so there are two cases for this in which it will end for first case when unit place of n to the power n is 9 then 9 minus 5 will be 4 okay and for the second one second case it will be 1 right so 1 minus 5 now when you cut it like it is 81 minus 5 then this will be 11 so 11 minus 5 will be 6 okay then this will be 6 okay now we know that it could end in only two numbers right 4 and 6 so our option is also 4 or 6 we will take it okay when you get these type of questions for this you should always remember 
what could be the ending of our particular number okay like here we know that for 9 we came to know that it will always be either 9 or 1 right for 5 it will always be 5 for 10 it will be 0 so this way you have to remember these things while we are doing the problems one by one 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 concept will come up okay so try to remember it and as we are in the process of solving it will get and like it will get into your mind very easily and when you are solving the problems yourself right now i am doing problems from the mdg so you can also buy the book and you can do, do all the problems because i have not taken all the problems and purposely i have avoided the direct questions which like find the lcm or find the lcm because that you have already done by doing rd sharma okay now coming to the next question which of the following rational numbers have non terminating decimal expansion okay that means the number is rational right all are in the p by q format but they have non terminating decimal that means their denominator should not have anything except 2 and 5 as prime factors okay now first one is 225 right so 225 it will have 2 1 1 sorry 5 4 5 then 2 sorry 5 Nine. Then again, this is three, three. Okay, five by three, three. Now for one forty-four, what are the factors? Three, right? So first of all, we'll check whether these are in the lowest form. These are in the co-primes or not? Okay. So here it will be twelve four twenty-four eight. Again three, right? So this will be one six, then four four. Okay. So now, if we write it as one forty four is equal to three into three into two into two, four is equal to two into two into two into two by five into five into three into three. So this three into three will cancel out. So the denominator part has only five, right? And this can we can write two to the power zero. So this will be terminating. Now, coming to this part, twenty-five and thirty-six. These do not have any common factors, right? These are in the lowest form. Okay. Now. It is five into five. This is six into six, right? So here it will be two into three into two into three. So in the denominator we have three. That means our decimal expansion here will be non-terminating. Okay. So this was the process. But in the exam when you are doing the problem, first of all when you see this question. okay then what you will do you will yourself see which is the co prime uh, numbers okay and you will find this one okay and you first of all solve for this 36 only okay it will save you time if you go one by one then this unnecessarily will take up your time okay if i see this question the first of all the first thing that i will see is that uh, 256 it is in the power of 2 so This will be terminating. Two fifty. This will also be terminating. Okay. These two are left. Okay. These will be non-terminating, right? These two have three. But then I'll see this. This is a smaller number, so I'll start with this first. Okay. This is the way how you approach problems in competitive exams. You don't start solving. You know the things. The examiner also knows. He wants to see whether you can complete it in the shortest time or not. so this approach it will only be present when you are practicing again and again okay practice is very important for mathematics speed you won't get without practicing okay now coming to the next question if p and q are primes 
then HCF of P and Q will be if there are two numbers which are prime, okay, let it be two and three, then the HCF will be one only because they are prime, they are not divisible by any other number, right? Except one, so HCF will be one. And what will be the LCM of two and three? It will be two into three six, now. So this will be the LCM. So always remember when you are given that P and Q are primes, then HCF will be one and LCM will be PQ, okay? If P is the prime number, then HCF and LCM of P and P plus 1 would be, now P is prime, okay. So P will not divide P plus 1, there will be no common factor, right. So their LCM will be P into P plus 1. And their HCF will be 1 of course, because this is prime. Now the second one will not be divisible by it, right, because it is plus 1. Like for example, we take 2 and 3, right. P, P plus 1. Now there HCF will be 1 and we will obtain these two LCM by multiplying. So HCF is equal to 1 and LCM is equal to P, P plus 1. 